Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik at just about 8 o'clock Sunday morning. Things are quiet and dry across the area. If you want to check out our forecast, what it looks like right now as we record this, today's forecast and tonight's forecast in the bars to my, let's see, that's what you're looking at your right, my left, no, we'll figure that out later. Anyway, if you'd like to know more about the forecast, this is our exclusive video weather blog, keeping you up to date as to what's going on with weather across the Mid-South. Very nice into the rest of the country, Kennebunkport, Maine, some clouds on the beach, also a lot of snow left over from that last nor'easter up that direction, and if you stop by Kennebunkport, say hi to Tom and Karen Letterer up there around that area. Fort Smith, Arkansas, near my old stomping grounds at KFSM TV 5 at the first Fort site. If you'd like to see more about that, that's near the confluence of the Arkansas and the Poto Rivers. You can see back in the background with sunrise light approaching there. More of the National Park System's cameras. Follow hashtag findyourpark on Twitter or go to nps.gov. Jonesboro, Arkansas, Sound Concepts Incorporated webcam from the Weather Underground System showing again temperatures not doing too too bad out there. Again, clearer skies for the most part. Some blue skies, a lot of clouds at Rhodes College in Memphis and showing temperatures back into the mid-40s as we record this with winds light out of the northwest at about 2. Mineral Wells, Mississippi, Tim B's webcam showing a lot of sunshine this morning on the weather underground system and very quiet conditions with, again, some of those clouds out into the background. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures back in the mid to upper 40s with winds kind of breezy out of the west-northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain just not seeing that much out there, so breezy and cool. Winds at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, that's going to take the wind chills down throughout the day into the 30s. So if you're going to be outdoors or the kids are going to be outdoors for a long period of time, please keep that in mind as we will see again some fairly chilly conditions throughout the rest of Sunday. Sunrise this morning, 7.01. Same thing for Monday. Sunset at 5.26 tonight and looking at about 10 hours, 25 minutes of daylight today. Add another minute onto there as we get longer days heading towards spring. Precipitation, nothing to report yesterday. We have a surplus of about two-thirds of an inch, so not doing too badly there. And for Memphis on temperatures yesterday, you couldn't get much more typical for late January. We were spot on pretty much on temperatures throughout the rest of the day. Heading into the rest of the week, again, we'll be seeing some clouds here and there, the possibility of some clouds mixed with sunshine today and off and on chances of rain as we get into the forecast for the next couple of days. But here in the Mid-South area, things are again decently quiet. Much of what we're looking at right now in the way of moisture has gone well on over to our east and should be back to the east of the Tennessee River, heading back that direction, moving off to the east and continuing that direction throughout the rest of the day. So the farther you go toward Nashville, Huntsville, Franklin, Columbia, uh, anything east of Jackson, that's where we're going to be looking at most of that moisture taking place. And that'll continue pretty well throughout the course of the rest of the day. So if you're going to be heading out the door anytime, that's again where you're going to be seeing the possibility of scattered showers. Cool enough, several thousand feet up for snowfall, but down toward the surface, again, with temperatures like this around the area right now in the 40s, it's doubtful that any of that's going to survive as snow all the way down to the surface. So mainly just rainfall out there. Lower to mid 40s into today around News Channel 3 at 5, News Channel 3 at 10, and heading toward daybreak tomorrow morning back in the lower to mid 30s, and then heading into the mid to upper 30s as we go into tomorrow late morning, upper 40s to lower 50s by lunchtime on Monday, and then temperatures by tomorrow evening cooling off by just a bit with mainly clear skies across much of the area. Should be a beautiful Monday coming up with a lot of sunshine out there. Uh, this forecast again for today, mid to upper 40s, your 7 to 10 day forecast showing numbers again just a bit below normal, but not doing too bad, clearing skies out there. Sunshine galore for Monday and looking pretty good for Tuesday as well, back in the upper 50s to around the lower 60s. Chances of rainfall start to make their way into the forecast as we get into around late Wednesday evening and then more chances of rainfall toward Thursday and then toward the rest of the week and into the weekend. More chances of spotty showers off and on. Not seeing too much of a problem with anything involving severe weather, snow, heavy rainfall for flash flooding, nothing like that. And temperatures, as you can see, throughout the course of the next several days are going to be well above normal to just about normal as we get into the last few days of January and early portions of February. Likewise, the temperatures at night are not going to be that bad either. They're going to be kind of chilly, but we're just not seeing 
seeing anything out there in the way of major problems where it comes to very cold temperatures and the chances of rain off and on as we go throughout the next several days. So just not seeing again a lot of major changes out there. It's been a very mild winter so far. Whether or not that continues, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on that. Iraq, temperatures for those of you with friends or loved ones serving in the United States military mid to upper 40s to lower 50s with a few clouds around Mosul, Basra, and down toward Najaf. Mostly sunny skies at sunset around Sunday evening in ba the Persian Gulf. Temperatures a little bit milder, back to around 70 at Doha in Qatar, but winds out of the northwest at 17 miles per hour, 16 mile per hour winds in Bahrain, 63 degrees in both Kuwait at the International Airport and in Riyadh at Saudi Arabia. Afghanistan, a little bit more mountainous territory, colder up toward Kabul, 35 degrees, rain, 49 degrees at Faizabad, and 53 degrees in Herat. Clear skies, 60, kind of mild right now in Kandahar, so no major uh, activity going on there and into the southern Korean peninsula, snow coming down into portions of the area around Kunsan. Rain mixed with snow around Seoul, Chuncheon, close to the DMZ. 40s and 50s on the southeast coast around Taegu and Pusan for anybody serving in that location. Once again, severe weather is a prime concern for us here at News Channel 3, as it should be for you. We are in the prime time severe weather season from roughly about anything involving January through about roughly April. That's a very long stretch about a third of the year where we can get severe weather and this is where you want to be you may have just moved to this area of the country and have never experienced severe weather before. This is how you get ready for it. This is called Skywarn. It's a good opportunity for you to learn more about severe weather. Meetings will be held across the Mid-South. This is your opportunity to learn more about how severe weather works, what to do beforehand, what to look for when it's happening, what to report to the National Weather Service, how to shelter in place. Great opportunity to get kids ready for severe weather by posting this information. If you'd like to know more about this, head to the National Weather Service page, go to weather.gov.gov, click on the Mid-South area around East Arkansas, West Tennessee, and Northern Mississippi. That'll take you to the National Weather Service in Memphis homepage. Click on the Skywarn notice at the top of the screen, and this is the information you will have. These are just the first five meetings that are going to be coming up. There's going to be about two dozen of them over the next several weeks around the Mid-South, so if you'd like your chance to take the course, good opportunity to do so. Again, they last about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how many people ask a lot of questions, and the good opportunity is totally free your tax dollars pay for this, so a good opportunity for you to learn more about what is available and how you can protect yourself. One of the best ways our tax dollars are spent, in my not-so-humble opinion, so please think about taking that course. And if you'd like to know more, just visit my social media web pages, and we'll be glad to keep you updated. Don't forget to download the app, whatever platform you've got. Go search for WREG Weather and download the News Channel 3 new and improved weather app. It's all available for you at your particular app store and find out more there. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll have more weather tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10. And of course, we'll have more, as it says there on the screen, available on the forecast at WREG.com slash weather. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with our latest weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Sunday morning. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned to News Channel 3 online and on air throughout the rest of the weekend.